I'm Mrs. Sweeter, and this is an eighth grade English class at Moody Middle School. And right now, we are in the midst of our Greek mythology drama project. And so today, guys, let's kind of recap where we are. Uh, I know most of you have finished your storyboards for your plays. So can someone tell me, why do playwrights, why, why do people who write plays, why do they use storyboards? What are storyboards about, Khalil? Um, to plan how it's gonna run. Exactly, so it's kind of like the outline that you do for an essay or you would do for a regular story. It's a way to plan what you're going, going to do in your play, okay? So and then we move on to the scripts. And most of you have begun to write your scripts for the play, the myth that you're um, going to reenact. So in terms of script writing, how is script writing different from regular writing? Lucy, go ahead. Instead of it being a more flowing or even way of everything gets described, you have to have, it's like just the bare bones of dialogue and then basic directions because it's all kind of, a lot of his, a lot of his is less or more improv-ish. Mm -hmm. And it's, I love how you said improv. What do we mean by improv? What did the Greeks do that's different from our theater today in terms of how they stage their productions? What did they not allow? Krishi? Um, well, they didn't have um, props, just they, like what we do today. Exactly. There were no props. So if you're Pandora and you've got a box to open, what do you have to do? Do it, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> and what comes out of the box? Uh, a whole bunch of bad stuff, and then at the very bottom is hope. Is hope, yes. Fortunately, we have hope at the end. Okay, good. So there were other ways that the Greeks told their stories. What were some of the other ways, or one important way that the Greeks told their story? You guys designed, hint, hint, you designed one last time. Go ahead, Savani. Through pottery. Through pottery. What specifically in their pottery? Uh, vases. Vases, okay. So what did they depict on their pottery? What was on their pottery? Yash? So normally, like, scenes. So on the pot on the board, it shows. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's depicting a scene in a play? It's depicting a scene from a myth. It could be depicting a battle scene because they love to depict their battle scenes as well. What were the other purposes of the Greek pots? Drew, what are the other purposes of the Greek pots? What else did they? Um, they like sold them and stuff. And they also like, gave, like passed them down through their families. OK, so they sold them. What was the practical use for the Greek pottery? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Lakshan. To store food and liquid, that's exactly right. So they depicted their stories. That's how we know about mythology because did the, you know, did they write their stories down? <coughs> no, they painted their stories and that's how we know what, what mythology is all about, which is kind of fun, okay? So the final thing is today you're gonna be working on your storyboard if you haven't completed it. You'll be working on your script. Um, you're also gonna be working on what? Bailey, your masks, why? What are the masks about? Since they didn't have props, the masks were the most important part. So they, because they all played different characters. And there were only men were allowed to be in the play. And a lot of Greek mythology have women. So they needed to portray different people. All right, so they needed those masks in order to show that, oh my gosh, this is a woman, this is not a man. So that was the way that they conveyed their characters. So if you reach a point in your script today where you're ready to start sort of staging it and kind of feeling what it was like to be a Greek actor, we've got the, the masks over here. You're welcome to borrow and you can actually, you know, just give it a shot. See what it feels like to put that mask on and become that character, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let you guys get started. I'm gonna just circulate around and see how we're doing with um, all the various activities you're working on, okay? All right, Alan. So um, to start off, we'll just um, show, we'll just write about how they are going up to the wedding, like to the, yeah. Oh shoot, I didn't know. Yeah, just do it. Feels comfortable to you, but yeah, that would probably be, yeah, because you're wearing glasses too, but sometimes you wear contacts, right? Yeah. No, sometimes I just don't wear them. You don't wear them at all, yeah, yeah. So I would just say to play with it to see if it's more comfortable leaving it on over your glasses or putting the glasses on over the mask. So I go back to her phone and then, do we have Zeus respond or, oh, I don't think so. I think, didn't we um, get rid of the nymphs because we realized oh, like, yeah, they we didn't play anything more recently? So, okay. Yeah. So, how many characters do you guys have? 
I, I don't, this, this isn't vinyl, but that's so far. Six so far. Okay, good. What's your modern twist going to be? Uh, so <laughs> we're doing steals a slushie from the center. Yeah, so we're doing the story of the Firebringer, uh -huh. where uh, Prometheus brings fire from, uh, from what's it called, Olympus, from right? Mount Olympus, from Mount Olympus, yep. Um, to the humans, and so our modern twist is we're gonna have uh, Prometheus uh, give a slushy to one of his friends from Seven Eleven, mm -hmm. and then Zeus is the owner of Seven Eleven, and he gets mad and he punishes him. He punished him. How's he gonna punish him? Uh, he makes him work there uh, every day without pay, and uh, every day someone robs him um, and takes all his slushies. So how how will you, because you know in the Prometheus story, the eagle, the symbol of Zeus is the one who comes and eats away the liver. How are you going to portray that? Um, we had uh, the robber puts a slushie at the person's face and then he gets a brain freeze. Okay. Okay, okay, that works. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking like someone could come out with like a level sign and then be like, oh, one. And, like, level two. Oh, and the last level is <laughs> <laughs> That's what my daughter said. Oh, no. Yeah, wait, well, I'm not, I can't. Okay. okay, and then, so yeah, that would work. How is questions? But then, how would we mention his origin? Like, like, maybe when he's like trying to get into the game, like loading in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because there's like that. Yeah, like when, when they're getting like the. Okay, what are we gonna do is have cross or something? Like, how about? Oh, we can't have cross. Yeah. So like, I'll just be like walking across yeah. the stage and then just stare. I just just walk around. Yeah. How do you like push his ass? Uh, that's true, because Perseus is like a normal guy, so like, how would we do Perseus? Prometheus, you have to say, What do you mean? I'm Zeus. Yeah, no, oh yeah, so yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Ben, yeah, ben, yeah, yeah, ben, yeah, ben you do it. You have to say, because you're Prometheus. I'm not you have to type. Prometheus just said something. Yeah, but you have to keep saying yeah, it. Yeah, keep talking. Oh, okay. So I just trace it. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can just say it. Yeah. 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 So this is the seven sisters. Let's do both of them. Let's do the seven sisters over here. Okay. Yeah, you should have them all here. So those are all the women that will be your wedding. Uh, I can be wearing like a blaze, like a blazer thing that would be. And the wife? Yeah. Yeah. You have to wear a dress. Great. Okay. <laughs> Cameron, you're gonna wear a dress. That'll be good. Wait, or actually, can I wear a dress? Yes. <laughs> no, she just wear Indian clothes, like a kurta. Oh yeah, that actually looks like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that would actually work because that actually looks sort of like yeah. a you know an, an ancient dress, right? Okay. So how many do you have? Five. Five. A wig? So, yeah. No, that would just be on the top. Me too. So what's your modern twist? So basically, instead of taking cows, she's taking a burger from McDonald's. Ah, okay. Okay, because burgers come from cows, right? Yep, okay. So you're going to make a point of that in your script, talking about the fact that burgers come from cows? You probably want to make that really obvious, because that's sort of the symbolic connection. So yeah, that should work. He will be here, I think, by Monday. I don't think he's going to be out of town past the weekend, but if he's not, we will figure it out. Okay. What, I, what I've done before is I've had it, you choose another student from the class who's willing to do it, and they actually read his portion of the script. Oh, okay. Because every once in a while we'll have somebody that gets sick at the very last moment, isn't able to perform, and so that's how we manage it. Okay. What's your modern twist? Tell me again. Our modern uh, twist is that this is all on, this is all just internet. This is all okay. on social media. All on social media. All the social media. And then Eric zooms in, it's like, Zeus, one more time, and I'm taking all the kids. <laughs> And I can I can I guess? Are you going to be Hera? Uh, no, 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 you're going to be Hera, Tim. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so up late in this one. I guess. Oh my, that'll be perfect. All right, so so she's going to say, I'm going to take all the kids, and then what else? I'm taking the kids. Right. And you know what? Echo. I'm banning you again. I'm an Instagram moderator, and there's something called nepotism, and I'm using it. <laughs> that'll be wonderful. That'll be really, really good. Tim, are you up for the challenge? 
picture. Yeah. Okay, that'll be good. And what other characters are you guys playing? I'm Narcissus and Sam is. Yours is? I'm Nemesis. You're both. Yeah. You're both. both, okay. Once you get the scenes um, sort of organized, then you can fill in the dialogue. That actually gets a little bit easier. So. The storyboard is should be inside your folder. Check and see if it's there. Yeah. Maybe it's, you know what? It's right here because I see my writing. Yeah, there you go. All set, Ethan? So who is going to be Prometheus? Tommy's Prometheus, okay. Who are your other characters? Zeus. You're Zeus. How are you gonna how are you gonna decorate yourself to be Zeus? I don't know, I'll just say that. But for my face mask. I don't know. One more up there. And I'm thinking. You can do a really, really long beard if you want, and he's usually depicted with a super long beard, so you could have fun with that. Yeah, that sounds good. Drew, what are you gonna be? I'm gonna be the robber. The robber, okay. That's good. Ethan, how about you? You're Robert. Oh, uh, Robert? Okay. Uh, so so yep. Let me take a look. Prometheus so. isn't actually a bad employee. It's just uh, Hercules made up that story to get fired. Okay. Okay. That's why you've got him in there? Yeah. yeah that works. Oh my gosh. Like the setting is like so good. Like this is like the perfect like yeah. area, lighting, all that. Okay. So how are we going to... Okay. And Artemis, it's it. Should Artemis say that? Or yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think oh, Artemis. Okay, so. We could have her own meet her brother in the beginning to introduce him for later in the story. Okay. Yeah. Me and Hold on. 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 Yeah. Can I see it? All right, let me see it. Okay. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, you totally use your phone and just, um, in fact, you guys will be my guinea pigs because I want to see what it's like when you upload it and what it looks like. You know, we'll put it on a Word document and see how clear it is, okay? So, yeah, so she's just about done with it. Um, you guys are doing fabulous work. This is really, really fun. Your scripts are starting to come together. Um, the modern twists are hilarious. I think your audience is going to enjoy them. Um, you started to work on your costumes a little bit. You're thinking about what your masks are going to look like. Um, the pots are looking good, so you're in really, really good shape. I'm really proud of you. So continue working um, virtually on the script, um, and it will be wonderful, and we'll start rehearsals next week. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you learned a little bit about Greek mythology. Moo!